All right, welcome back, everybody. We are in Squad Says Chill now. This is the uh, after show to Squad Says Served and Guest. And uh, what you did see before was, unfortunately, Purple Squad unfairly has taken a Unf second victory. Why? Unfairly. Unfairly. Un look at that. Like, You're offending uh, my well, our uh, guests. You guys, I, I'm actually, like, I feel good about myself as a human being. That not, I any, well, well, not anymore, that thanks that to I Ted. Did I survive that? Well, not. I don't like Ted, but it doesn't mean I, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't mean I don't feel good about myself as a human being. We were right. co-hosts. Uh, Once upon a time. <laughs> for those of you that may be yes. just joining us, let's go ahead and we're going to introduce you guys. Uh, introduce yourselves. Tell the, tell the people watching at home who you are, what you did on the show, and where they can find you on the internet. Go ahead and start into my immediate left with Tifa. Hi, I'm Tifa Robles. You can find me everywhere on the internet at Tifa Robles. Uh, I am a writer. I have a novel coming out next year. My Kickstarter should be launching in February for that. Um, I also do a lot of blogging. I did a blog post for every day in November, um, and I'm going to continue doing it twice a week. Uh, and I also write for tabletoptests.com. And what'd you do on the show? I was a judge. And what else is going on with the show? I'm going to be a regular judge. Yay. Yay. On. Yeah. All right. What's the name of your book? Are we allowed to know the name of your book? Yes. Oh, it's what? called Azulicent. Ooh. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Pirates and swashbuckling and all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. Spoilers. Arr. Oh, my God. I, it's awesome. so everything that I write has a, like overtones of feminism. Um, so it's a feminist young adult fantasy book. Yes. I want to read that. Um, my name is Anjali Bamani. I am an actress and a singer and a dancer. And um, you may know me from uh, a lot of television shows, uh, uh, Modern Family and Alex Inc. and C uh, NCIS and many other things, uh, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. And I also do the voice of Symmetra in Overwatch. Uh, and the voice of Nisha in Fallout 4, and I play Stingray on We're Alive Frontier, which is a show that I'm doing for Geek and Sundry on ProjectAlpha.com. And if you don't have ProjectAlpha.com, you can get ProjectAlpha.com for 60 days for free using the code INFECTED on there. It's an awesome show. I'm so in love with that show. Um, please, please, please check it out. And one last thing I didn't mention before is I also have a web series called I Am Fun Size on the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, it's actually all about how all of us are fun size because we're all built for fun and sometimes we don't really feel that way a lot of times in the world. So people will write in questions about working through things in their lives and I will answer them. Um, that is happening. And you were, uh, on the last Unserved, you were? Unserved, I was a chef. And how'd that work out for you? It worked out well for me. Did you show them what you got? I got the bro. <laughs> That's right, we want you. Yeah. We want Unfortunately, you the belt is a little too big to go around my... <laughs> My waist, just so I have to put it on my booty. Because it's a little, I can't, I can't make it stay on. I can't make it stay on my waist, so we're just going to wear it up here like a chest plate. Great, all right, let's move over That's there. That's going to make you such a target at the TSA. Yeah. Uh, look at me, you think I'm not already a target at the TSA? Like, sure, it's random, you guys. Wow. Can, we just random. Switch careers? Can we just switch careers? Yeah. You're also really good at this. Uh, You're good at my job. <laughs> Chef Derek. I ruined it. Oh uh, hi, I'm, I'm Derek Sheen. That's uh, who I am. Uh, I am a stand-up comic. I travel all over the country. Uh, you can find me uh, on, at Derek Sheen Rules with a Z dot com. That's got all my tour dates. It's got clips from my albums. Uh, I'm on StandUpRecords.com. I've got three records. I have a new one coming out, hopefully, uh, this next summer. Uh, we just talked to Tom Neely about doing the artwork. If you're not familiar with Tom, Tom does Glenn and Henry. Oh, nice. uh, the Fantagraphics books and a bunch of, you know, he's done a ton of albums, so I'm kind of fingers crossed, called uh, Macho Caballero. Uh, <laughs> and that'll be my, but uh, go check me out uh, on, uh, go down, go listen to my albums. You got Spotify, you can listen to them for nothing, and they're great. And I'm a super Libby Snowflake cuck uh, who loves to do <laughs> wow. a comedian. I, I love that. I love to be in the fun Libby Snowflake. So please uh, go check That's me out. Awesome. Also uh, on Twitter at Derek Sheen and Instagram, and it's easy to find me. Uh, also try putting three sixes after my name, and all that stuff comes up. So. Great. <laughs> I am Kaylee Van Cotta, and I am talent manager to the stars. Uh, <laughs> no, and actually, I might be taking on chefs now, uh, since apparently I'm a judge of chefs, and uh, I'm just happy to be here. 
All right, well, great. So, Squad says, uh, Chill, this is your chance to go ahead and ask questions of our chefs or our judges uh, about their dish. Let's talk about this third dish, because we haven't actually talked to, uh, to the chefs about this third dish. Uh, Derek, I would have loved to have tasted your dish, but Steve took every single last bit of it. <laughs> We're not allowed to touch the, here, the Instagram plates, apparently, so I can't. Uh, what was going on? You created this entire fantabulous looking meal. Even I was sitting there thinking, we're, we're doomed. Yeah. I was like, we are doomed. I got, I'll be honest, I got lucky with the with the, the stew beef because the first thing that popped <clears throat> in my head at the beginning was that's gonna turn into some kind of stew and then mushrooms happen and I was like, okay, good. I don't need flour for a roux, but we'll try to figure something out and then enchilada sauce hit the table and I was like, oh, I got it. We're gonna make a soup and then beer and then cinnamon and then everybody just was like, magic yeah, happened. Yeah, the forced so. cinnamon. Thanks, Purple Squad. Oh, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's great. Oh, he's making a Mexican dish? <laughs> cinnamon doesn't work with it. Clearly, you folks don't know that <laughs> so, we like cinnamon. It was so like, I was like, and then tortillas, and I'm like, oh God, everything's gonna happen. So, but it's kind of, I mean, I, you know, I like, a, I like a Mexican stew, and that's very close. I mean, you know, with the enchilada sauce, you kind of have to improvise a base mm -hmm. because you don't really have to right, really, like, put yeah. things off. And, and build a flavor profile, but that I, it smelled great, and I tasted a little bit of it, and so I, I feel like it's it was it came out great. More tortillas, that's what I learned. That's okay. that's what you learned. And Chef Anjali, winner, winner Anjali, Wait. Chef Doctor, amazing host, <laughs> host. You were a chef, doctor. Chef host, Doctor <laughs> Anjali, doctor. disappointed Indian mother. Definitely a disappointed. <laughs> I'm I am the disappointed Indian mother who is disappointed in myself a little bit on this. Even though I'm I'm very grateful that the the, the two have quote unquote one, although I feel like this dish may have been my greatest failure today. Um, um, because I sort of got to the moment where this, you know, this dish was happening and the fourth ingredient was pumpkin. And I was like, oh, awesome. It'll be like a Christmassy thing. And then I realized that I had already been cooking the, the beef with um, very savory ingredients and I had no herbs to kind of offset that in a in a more officially Christmassy way. Like there was no sage, there was no nothing right. that I could turn that into. I had it was the cilantro, which we're not going to use. I had the use. cilantro and that was not a thing. Like that that worked for some of the other uh, things. But it, it really great cilantro. for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Cilantro right. was a great garnish, but it's not, uh, uh, it wasn't so much good in this. So really with this dish, I pinned all my hopes on presentation and flair. And I think the scoring <laughs> categories is what helped us. Yeah, because yeah. I, I will say, you did lose some points for your dish wasn't on tilt. Um, like, I couldn't really find anything about it that was tilted. Uh, like, it made me happy. It, like, <laughs> right. <laughs> your um, dish was too good. That's, it was it my, my biggest fear enough. was, I was like, you know what, uh, I don't know how to tilt this dish right. without, like, ruining yeah. it. And I was like, God But damn. you, on the other hand, went, like, I mean, just like overboard with like I, leaning into yeah. tilted, <laughs> leaning into the car wash, like, and that is why you got those like extra points gotcha. in the end. It well, was I, difficult because yeah. I saw that and like I, I look at the final scores. I'm like, we lost two points for that yeah. we had gained before on the middle one oh, on this okay, final dish, yeah. despite this one tasting so good yeah. and being <clears throat> such a good dish. I'm curious what that one got on taste. Oh, me too. The, oh, like the, a the, negative four. The, I, like, the scores were up. Happened, but, well, we would have gotten the, we, we would have taken it. But I, th I, think I, th that, I think so. But, I think because, I mean, even, uh, they're, they're going to put the round three scores up. Uh, so oh, we, wonderful. We, we can I, see. I'm and then, very curious And then curious since we can't we see way over there, we'll have points. Amanda <laughs> shout to us. What were the taste scores, Amanda? Shout to us. That's fine. Look, seven and eight. Sorry, I assumed everyone at home can hear. Sorry, that was yeah, completely right. rocking. Uh, so this scored seven and eight uh, for taste on this score, and for uh, Squad Ted, nine and eight. Nine and eight. So, nine and so, eight. I, I so one of you two rated this on the same taste as that wise. I didn't get to taste that one. I, so I, don't I was know. tasting it as I went along, and I will say the beef was delicious yeah. and the pumpkin was delicious. So you put, I, put them, so together. them together. together. <laughs> I don't. It depends on whether you're into that combination of sweet and savory. Like I know every yeah. every Christmas or Thanksgiving dinner that I have, I love mixing it all up. It's also a very Indian thing to do. Just like shove it all on the plate and mix it all sure. up, and then eat it with your hands. Um, there, yeah. <laughs> there was a, a question in the chat uh, for the chefs: Which protein actually made you the most nervous? Mm. I was nervous about the chicken because I was just worried there wouldn't be enough time to cook it. Because every time that I've been on the show and there's been chicken, it's been the last <laughs> dish. Yeah. Um, but nothing was undercooked, so it, like it ended up being fine. Right. Chefs, what's what? the pork was the one that scared me the most because it's too easy to overcook when it's that thin. Right. Like you really have to eyeball it. I was really scared I was going to turn it into char if I didn't keep an eye on it. But 
the chicken I was happy about because I just mm. threw it in right away. You did get the oven. You guys did amazing during uh, I eat. during guests. So you had the oven, a burner, you yeah. had all kinds of ready to go at your disposal. Well, the thing was is that when uh, we got all of that stuff and then the uh, production team built into it, we're gonna take all your shit right away. Yeah. <laughs> it, was within, yeah. it was within about five to six minutes into the, right. into the yeah. game. We had yeah. everything essentially taken away from us that we'd won. Except your heat source. Except the heat source. We had the oven. I, I Which was nice. This. Yeah, that saved me. Actually. This one scared me too because I have it. I don't really eat pork. I have never cooked pork. I have wow. zero experience with pork other than like bacon. Sure. Um, so that that scared me because I really genuinely was like, well, I'm gonna cook it like any other meat and hope for the best. Ooh, <laughs> Mick Swinger, voice. one of our regulars here, says I'm on Purple Squad, but I think we need a recount. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's fair. I'm telling you, I actually think I think it was the categories that I think, I think the it was. I think they Had scored highly. This one I can almost guarantee scored highly for the car wash and the tilt, and I think that's why we we won because it wasn't the taste. We won in the other two categories. I promise which, you, it wasn't the taste. <laughs> which is chosen uh, to that there. Uh, it made the first show pointless because the utensils were gone way yeah. too soon. You know, which is an it's, interesting it's, point. Yeah. It's an interesting point to say. Yeah, yeah. Does it then just totally make the first hour? But then you still had, but you still had the heat source. You still had the rear burner and the oven. That's true. And we had the uh, saucepan. Yeah, the saucepan. Oh, and the spice. And the spice. And the spice. So, so maybe not. Mm -hmm. So I you mean, guys still had a lot to work with. Sure. Like there's there there is definitely a reason to to battle that hard luck hero, and I think you're onto something. But they still had so much more that we didn't have. We started with a knife. Mm -hmm. Like that's <laughs> and a prayer, a knife and a prayer, <laughs> and that's how I ended. Ah. Yeah, literally what I had, but but like I'm glad. Like I don't mind. Like I didn't miss the spatula or the tongs. Uh, I mean the stuff I missed. I you know I, I guess I didn't really miss anything. Sure. I mm -hmm. You dug in I, with your hands. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's fine. As yeah, long as I kept washing my hands. But uh, the pasta, I was like, that's easy to turn with a pan, and mm -hmm. you know you can turn these pretty. I don't have any feeling on the tips of my fingers. I worked. Do so you really long not? In the, yeah, in the restaurant industry, you just burn that off after a while, mm -hmm. so I can't touch anything. So are you actually a, like a chef? Were you a chef before? No, this? no, I was before never a chef. I'm, I'm a cook at best. You had some great dishes. Uh, yeah, yeah, you had some. Yeah. I like to cook. Your his presentation. Yeah, yeah, his technique was great too. He kept flipping everything and like. It's all for yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. No, no, that's the real uh, thing. That helps. Everybody I got a helps. question for the two of you down on down on Ted's table there. Uh, you guys never seen the show before. You guys first time on the show, Anjali. <laughs> We've seen you on Twitter, so we know how you feel. What what was your expectation of the show? versus the reality once you were in it because a lot of everyone that comes to the show says that hour flies by i want to hear your guys' thoughts on on what on <laughs> you're, uh, you're shaking your, you're nodding you're like yes it does it flies by really fast and also uh, i kind of assumed that the stuff wouldn't be as good <laughs> as it was <laughs> and yeah. it was actually, sometimes it's not yeah, yeah. And it, was, it was surprisingly really delicious and um and it was fun and fast paced and yeah it just went re it went by really really fast it did. I think for me, I, I actually it, it felt paced for me really well. Like I nice, felt like, okay. and I think that's just because of the proteins I had. I was able to size up like, okay, if this if the pork's going first, that's easy. The chicken will get down. The beef's easy to cook. It was just the the scary thing was I'm like I don't know what's gonna happen, <laughs> and I don't know what else I have to cook with. Like I could have literally just gone through this with cinnamon and <laughs> proteins and no knife and. <laughs> So I, you know, the improv improvisation is great, but I think the thing I, I I didn't expect was just how fast everything can change. And, oh yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Chef Anjali, anyone that follows you on Twitter, Instagram knows that you've been terrified. You've terrified. been begging for help the last few days. You've been yeah. saying that you're gonna burn this place down <laughs> I, with your I, cooking skills. Fear. Let's talk about that versus how you actually felt in that last hour. Um. Equally still terrified, but not, <laughs> hang on, I gotta say, my antlers are giving me a headache. Um, that's a legitimate sentence that I'm gonna say uh, in the future as well. Um, uh, it was, I love that it flew by. That was, that was huge, that, that helped a lot. Um, really the scariest part of it was trying to figure out what ingredients to put together. Because I know how to cook into all of these individual things, and I know the few things that I would do at home, but putting them all like figuring out what to put all together was a thing but i was very happy that at least you know i didn't hopefully undercook anything because that was kind of my biggest fear was was feeding people undercooked meat so i just put everything on the heat as fast as possible as i'd rather have it overdone um 
But I still think you should have won. <laughs> <laughs> I admit this freely. Like I don't know. I. But that's I, but that's going off of taste again. That's remember, true. Going the off of taste. Yeah. Vote, no, the no, squads vote. The squads vote. And I will say that. Thank and thank God for that. And I appreciate that. That's part of the entertaining factor because mm -hmm. otherwise it would be a no-brainer. Whichever person had had more cooking experience would automatically. Uh, be the person who wins. There's kind of like that. So the fact that we had other things to save me from my um, my lack of cooking without a recipe skills. But you are a fun tsunami. Like yes. you're a yes. fun yes. tsunami. You are a tsunami. A fun ah. tsunami. And, and like it, it does. Like flavor is a little bit of that. But you brought so much personality. Like I was. Uh. I just wanted to watch. Oh, what you were gonna do. So well, this works out well because you you wanted to watch what I was doing and I wanted to eat what you were making. Well, there you so go. We're actually, it's we're actually a really good team. left and right side hemispheres. That's I what we're doing. I'm we're one uh, there was there was a, a, something in the chat. Somebody said uh, can you cook dessert cakes. We would love to do a dessert episode and a cakes right. episode, I but we have no. First that. of all, they said desert cakes. Okay, well desert either <laughs> either, either <laughs> way. Mess, but the thing is, mess. people, you, you would cook I on. I want that. to cook on a dessert. We only have the one. The problem is we only have the one. I know how to cook without an oven. That's true. Oh, that's where you do the no bake cookies oh, yeah. and all that stuff. I do all kinds of dessert dishes without an oven. There you all go. The all right. Let's see I, I will say that I can handle desserts. Ooh, that's a thing. I think. I think. Well, you do have to come back and and uh, you know defend <laughs> your crown. I happily will. I have a feeling that the entire cast of We're Alive Frontier wants to go. I know Rachel really, really <laughs> wants to come. Great. We'll up. get them all up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'd be that'd uh, really fun. Chefs, what have you learned today that you will take to your kitchens at home, mm. if anything? I <laughs> 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 the fifth. I'm gonna t I'm gonna take. I like. To, I love to cook at home. Uh, I'm gonna take the uh, what was it the thyme butter and and for and the mushrooms. mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah. mushrooms were amazing, and I love mushrooms. And so like I I had to like when when the cameras weren't on me, I was like I'm gonna go take a sneak of the uh, the greens dish, and then I tapped them, and I was like, dude, these mushrooms are amazing. <laughs> like, I'm not even that into mushrooms, but those were amazing. Oh good, thank you. Those yeah. are like, like they were so good. Salt them like the road, and just get them all you know yeah. brown. <laughs> They're yeah. so good, but. I think the thing I learned that um, uh, I, I learned that enchilada sauce uh, is an amazing base for a soup. That I just, <laughs> just get it in a can. Great. Why am I dicking around <laughs> stewing up fucking vegetables for two hours? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, let me go ahead and cook all this down and get all the flavor out of it like an idiot. And then I got fucking enchilada sauce. They already do that for you. Go get the can, put it in the bowl, and then put shit in the bowl, and you're done. <laughs> And then cinnamon. Good. Boom. There you go. And cinnamon. I was uh, angry about that. <laughs> the the uh, McSwinger was asking uh, hosts, what of these dishes would we put in the Squad Says Cookbook? Oh, hmm. man. That is That's tough. Cute. You said the soup? Yeah. The soup? Also, if I'd known your feelings on that, you would have got some points for tilt back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You're, that was quite angry. The soup and the spiced apples. Yeah, I was, that's what I was like. I want yeah. really good. Yeah. I wanted to do this, but I was like, well, the dish as a whole, because the lentils weren't great, but the spiced apples. The spiced apples, apples. The spiced which you apples helped me dope. with, which, so they had your love in them too. That's right. Because I love, I I love spiced apples. I'll, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll just like bake an apple with spices and a little bit of sugar on it. Yeah, the spiced yeah, apples came out really. Mm. I'm eating the hero dish, Kevin. Look we at me. We got you guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, he's coming out. I did the. I did the same thing. Even despite them saying don't eat the hero dish, <laughs> I took a little bite of this. This is really good. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Revolution really, Seventy Two. Really Revolution Seventy Two says the cookie bruschetta hecka worked too. I did. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 That's fun too. Totally and I nice. do feel like that is that that is something that I might continue again. But it Whoa. would definitely be something that is not like this. These are as sweet as you can get yeah. with something like mm -hmm. that. I think you wouldn't. I wouldn't want to go anything sweeter. It's a, you call it uh, enchilada car wash soup. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Enchilada car wash soup. That's it's awesome. really good, honestly. We, we, really we, we joke. We go get just go get some. Can I, I mean, do it's, it? It's yeah. cold, is, but is the man gonna come out it. and beat me up uh -oh. again? We Not talk again. about we <laughs> talk about on the show you. having uh, doing a cookbook because we have <laughs> so many <laughs> random. For it. And there's okay. also here. Am I allowed to? I'm gonna peel. No, there's none left here. I'm gonna peel off the tiniest bit. There's still some cooked tortilla. You know what's, you know what's surprising though about the show, especially since sitting over there, all we had to do was judge, um, which actually is an important job. But um, <laughs> the thing that's surprising about the show is they bust their ass. They oh, move yeah. around. Yeah. I saw little drips of sweat coming down both of them. Like they were, I don't know, they were moving around a lot. It's hard. I don't sweat. I just sh shove soup in my face. This is really good, right? It's really good. <laughs> oh yeah. my god.
So is this plain tortilla because I don't really eat enough carbs. But um, uh, this one's buttery. I, I got Just this thing. keep it. Up. No, 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 no. Listen, no, down in front, folks. Don't forget, we are live. We do have a photographer in the studio today, so that's who you see <laughs> running around right now. Trying to, he's trying to get some good photos. You let the man work. Jack Nicholson, Jake. You let him, Jake Nicholson, Jake. No, who's the work. one that went to that camera when they, they can that's, see a preview yeah, of it? Who went to that <laughs> no, one when they can see it back there? Uh, I do want to say, uh, for those of you guys watching at home, we are actually in the process of getting a new belt design yeah, for we're us. Excited. It looks oh. really cool. Yeah, somebody, uh, Danny Two Step, who's in the chat, is on Purple Squad, is like, I'm bored a lot at home. I have a lot of free time. I'm creating a new belt. And wow. I've shared some images. This belt's going to have our logo on there. It's gonna have our logo on there, the side plates. It's gonna look amazing once we get it. We'll probably have really it. Uh, probably season two is my guess. It'll start the start of season two. I think is one that'll that'll happen. Um, the the photo. They, who's the photog? They want you to turn to that front camera and say hello. You don't have to, but. <laughs> Do it, yeah. There, yeah. yeah. Did he get in there? Did they see? Him? Yeah, they, they saw. Yeah, okay, okay. They there saw. He is. That's great. All right, awesome. Um, Can so we tell all. him? Are we allowed to tell them who he is? Sure. And Please. Do you want to plug yourself. your Oh, I yeah, thought, I thought you were going to tell him. No, no. I thought you were going to say Go over to Mike there, and then we'll uh, say it into his mic. Up in here. Right, right, right here. I'm Patrick Bennett, uh, Instagram, uh, Patrick Bennett photo. <laughs> you're not, oh, you're not on screen. You, you got to come. Yes, there. Is that better? Yeah, yeah. Right. Didn't you just win a thing? Yes, I just won a national uh, thing, ASMP, uh, Best of ASMP of 2018. Yay! Yay! Like this morning when we all got here, he just sent yeah. out he won it. How cool is that? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. And a huge shout out to Patrick. We're going to throw yeah. these pictures up. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Debauchery, you got your uh, your Instagram link in there. And we're going to throw these pictures up, up on the Facebook page. We'll tweet some of these out for sure. <laughs> like your fancy uh, hat. They like so your hat. The hat. That's a great hat. I hope great hat. That's a great hat. hat. It's, it's a almost a hat. cowboy hat. <clears throat> it's almost a cowboy <laughs> hat. It's like a safari hat, right? Like a. Uh, he, right? It's kind of. It's, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, judge is soon to be Chef Tifa at some point, I'm sure. Uh, this is your sixth time? I don't know if it's fifth or sixth. And then you're also going to be a regular judge. I'm going to start being a regular judge. I you, should be here but like twice a week. You said when you walked in that the show is different every time you see yes. it. What were your expectations today? These are two people you've never met before. You had no experience with their cooking. What were your expectations, being, being the, the solid veteran? I mean, you never really know what you're going to get with the show. <laughs> um, I've had episodes where like the food is amazing and I want to try to finish every dish and I go home and don't eat the rest of the night because I'm so full. And then there have been episodes where I feel sick to my stomach afterwards. <laughs> and, and then like everywhere in between, today was definitely one of the peak days for like how good every single dish was. Mm. Um, but honestly, like my expectations, I try to have a super open mind because I have no idea what I'm going to walk into. Uh, and that's one of the great things about the show. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, we had a question for everyone. What's your dream sabotage? If you can, sa if you get, if you can in incorporate a sabotage, what would your dream sabotage be? Uh, we'll give you guys a minute to think about that. Uh, I'm going to throw it over to Ted. Ted. I like uh, Ishman's <clears throat> suggestion, and Ishman's suggestion was steal their wallet. <laughs> nice. Steal a wallet. Steal a wallet. Thank you. Yeah, What's, that's mine. What, what is your uh, your dream sabotage? If we I don't really have a dream sabotage, you know? Uh, maybe Ted wins this <laughs> Ted Squad wins. <laughs> it's just automatically. Green Squad wins this time. So I don't know. That would be my dream sabotage. There you go. So it would be a sabotage for both of them, but like swapping kitchens for five minutes or something. Oh. That's that's something my like no. That see, would mine cool. would be for the dish, for the remainder of the dish. Oh. You like the, the the essentially the that chef's dish is now yours. Oh. This yeah, the chef's trade dishes. Wow, that's that, good too because it would make you have to pay attention to what's going on in the other, yep. which I admittedly admittedly had no brain power to pull off. So maybe it's like we trade the dishes and suddenly Anjali has this one. Yeah. And suddenly, uh, you know, Derek gets that one. And <laughs> has the finishes, you know. <laughs> you have to work with what they've already started, and nobody yeah. knows when that would come up. It just nope. happens at yep. some point. Yeah. Do yeah. I but then, get to keep the cinnamon? Yes. Well, here's the thing: is just whatever the whatever dish is being prepared, that is swapped. You get to keep everything at your station. Like if we could do it, actually, I would do it in like round two, where the chefs actually swap teams for the rest of the game. Mm. Oof, that would be hard. I want to. Well, we talked about how. So we have our squads, and we have what's eventually uh, as the as the as we grow bigger, and as the app gets continues to grow. Uh, we're gonna have like squad elite members. I want to make that like an elite power. An elite power is like you know it's a one-time use, once a month basically, and it's like bam, I'm using my elite power. 
chefs have to switch sides for the rest of the game. Oh, oh. that's a thing. What about so what? Yeah, purple I... chef would be green chef then, and yep. then green chef would be purple chef. Yep. First, they'd have to take off the apron, yep. and switch it before they get yep. to be able to cook again. Yep. Oh my goodness. What about your only heat source is the microwave? What about you can only That's like cook my in life. That's just my <laughs> like, You can only cook your proteins in the microwave. Everything has to be cooked mm. in the microwave. Uh, that's that's pretty much happened. That, that's oh, happened. We have a chef, uh, Instafluff, uh, who is who is a mug chef. He he co he does coding uh, oh. on Twitch, but he also makes mug meals. He's done pizza, mac and cheese, brownies, yep. and there was one day where he just everything went into the everything went into the <laughs> microwave. Was really? <laughs> it was he traded the opposing <laughs> chef a knife, I think for the uh, for the microwave and yeah. then from then on he cooked his beef in there yeah he tried cooking <laughs> orzo in there it was oh. incredible uh, I feel like drunk if you know what you're doing that's a that's a legitimate thing drunken yeah. cloud wants me to show this to, to Derek because Derek hasn't seen this our newest addition to the season is this mini oh. maker oh, oh my god which we use that's what? That's which we use which we use as a sabotage oh, quite so often cute. oh you've not seen this either no. huh why is that a sabotage these are uh, fantastic. These, uh, production said they got this on Amazon on Prime Day because if you have all, you lose all of your heat and only oh. have to use this. Yeah. We had uh, Chef Chef Alligator who's in the uh, who's who's in our chat. He may be gone now. Uh, he had to, he one day got this quick and made biscuits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, made little biscuits in here. It was it was amazing. Oh it was my legit. god! Yeah. Sabotage. <clears throat> Kevin has to cook while the chef gives him instructions. Oh my god! <laughs> that would be awful. that would be amazing. Would, Amanda over there is raising her arms like yes. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. Can yeah, the you, biscuits were made with it. Can you sabotage where you somebody has to put double the seasoning they normally would? That is a sabotage. The sab one of the, there's a, there's a sabotage similar to that. It's add any like a teaspoon of any spice. Okay. Or a teaspoon of any sauce to your opponent's dish. Oh. Ooh. What about blindfolding? I was gonna say you might burn yourself. Like you might have to burn yourself. Yeah. After that, but I was gonna say not blindfolding, but you have to do everything behind your back. Oh, also kind of dangerous. You can't be facing. They've asked facing. us. They've asked for like a, like a T-Rex costume, but we don't want a chef like that close to that <laughs> chef that close to the to the heat set of fire, fire with yeah. a T-Rex costume. Yeah. <laughs> what about oh. the chef having to stand and the host having to put their arms <gasps> between I want them that and one. cook? That is what I want to do. Yeah. Talking. That's a good one. Uh, on that next time. Naders <laughs> says, when did this channel start? It seems to come out of nowhere, but it's a lot of fun. So this is our official launch day. This is our second show. We're going five days a week, Monday through Friday. Make sure to, uh, it's Tuesday through Saturday. Make sure you follow us if you haven't. Uh, yesterday was the official launch. We had a whole preseason while we were gearing up, getting everything ready. We like this. If you watch a month ago, the show looks totally different from what it is now. We're constantly changing things. We're taking your suggestions. You join a squad. And you guys decide everything. We have emotes uh, that are going to be made that you guys have decided on. Uh, squad colors will change. Uh, squad logos will change. Right now, we've got a pair of glasses uh, for Mike Squad, and then thumbs up for Squad Ted. Mm -hmm. uh, I chose the pair of glasses because I wanted them to know that they were joining my squad because I wear the glasses. And I did the thumbs up because I wanted to let them know how positive we are. Yeah. In this squad. Uh, but so even though we, we've lost twice in a row, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> we did thumbs come up. out. We did come out of nowhere, but we are here. We are here to stay, and we are going to continue to do this show for as long as we can. Yay. Also, thumbs up is great because you can do that if you're an awkward person. Like, what do you do in a photo? Thumbs up. It's easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone can do it. Anyone can look good with a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. People look that, wow, what a positive person. That's positive. Well, that's why in Fallout, you see exactly. Pit, you see Pit Boy in Fallout. That's everything's right. fine. You're like, hey, hey good it's fine. Thumbs up. Everything's fine. <laughs> everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, the only way for us to continue is for you guys to go out and tell your friends. The more viewers we have, the more followers we get, the more subs we get, the longer we can keep doing this. Oh. You join a squad, and then uh, and then the squad's just going to control everything, like we said. So make sure you guys are out there. Um, it's really fun. It's so fun. Did you have I a good time? Was, I had such a great time. <laughs> Um, even though I, again, like I, uh, the, the winning was lovely, but I, I still don't feel like I did. But I, what was fun about it was just the experience of playing together and, yeah. and and playing with Derek and playing with everyone. And I think I think this is a super fun thing. Like I'd totally do this again. This would be fun. Great, because we delayed your flight, so you're gonna. Do yes, that. Back yeah, yeah. to the so Let's go. <laughs> you're doing yeah. another one. Yeah. North Shore Lagoon, let's go. Let's go back to the... Let's yes. do it. I'm not sad about that. I, I love no. from Danny Two Step there. What do you do in a photo, Mike? Uh, I wear glasses. True. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, Drunken Cloud with a tier one sub. Thank you so much, Drunken Cloud. Debauchery with a tier one sub. You guys, thank you so much for those subs. This is awesome. Uh, Hard Luck Hero says bring, bring, bring Carolina. 
And I think that also oh, yeah. means we can bring a uh, uh, we can get another emote. We now have another one unlocked. Oh, we need to get some. We need to get. Great. Kels is working on emotes, and then we need to just continue to <laughs> just sit there and just yeah. be like, hey, you, you did this good. We need more. We need another one. We need more. more. We need more, more. please. Uh, if you guys do have, yes, we are on Discord. If you have ideas for emotes, if you're an artist and you want to do emotes for us, let us know. Hit us up on Discord. Hit us up on uh, on Twitter. Twitch Shecky with another tier one sub. They're, they're rolling in. We got the hey, sub train going. Yeah, rolling yeah. In. We got the sub yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Very much appreciated. Uh, can we get more Overwatch actors? Act, voice actor versus voice actor down the road? Probably. Maybe. We never, we never know. Who would you want to cook against? Who would you pick? Out of all the voice actors, who would you choose? Who would you choose I, to take I, down? I don't know. I don't know. We're such a team of people. Not anymore. Um, not, anymore. <laughs> not anymore. It's done. This is where we so You are the champion. You were the champion. Who would you pick? Uh, maybe either Josh, just because we have so much fun together that it would be really, really fun. And I don't. I actually don't know how much he cooks. Um, so maybe Josh. Um, Carolina would have to be on my team. Like yeah. we just we don't we're, we're half and half. Sombra? She's Sombra. Okay. Uh, I would I would need I would need her. Uh, I would like sh I can't I like I just like her too much and I want to do something against her. Um, <laughs> jo Josh Lucio? is Roadhog. Oh, he's Roadhog. Oh, that would oh, be amazing. No. Johnny Cruz. I would I would totally so Lucy. Lucy versus Johnny. L Lucy. That would be a fun. That would be, he seems like a fun guy. He's, he's, he's pretty, pretty yeah. he's pretty I energetic. Will, I have to say the whole cast is yeah. like, they're they're a tremendous group of people <laughs> and also the devs like Jeff Kaplan super dope. Michael oh, yeah. Chu, so much fun. Andrea Toyas is all the heart. Like it's a really, really good group of people. <laughs> Angelina and uh, Anjali and Carolina versus the Shimada brothers. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, uh, Paul be. Nagauchi. I don't. I, I don't trust that I could do anything better than him. Like he is legitimate. Bring the cast to the show. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys. You keep subbing. You keep asking. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe this will happen. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> no, really. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, no, really. That's Keep hilarious. Up. Hard luck hero there says, uh, if he's here, bring me Lucio and Lucio. His name is actually Lucio, <laughs> yeah. which is why he's uh, is very into that idea. But, that uh, would be funny. But I'm telling you, that, that cast of We Are Live Frontier is jazzed. Yeah, they want to. Yeah, so they if you guys aren't like... watching We Are Live Frontier on Geek and Sundry, Project Alpha, uh, a lot of them on Twitter started talking about how they all want to come on this show. Yeah, yeah. Rachel, oh, wow. Rachel was watching. Rachel was she in the was, chat. She was yeah. totally like, oh, ready man. and preparing for for coming on here. And so, She's going to have all kinds of notes for you? Oh, no, no, totally. And she, <laughs> and she legitimately, her character legitimately saves my ass multiple times <laughs> on the, on, on, in season two because we, we end up in a, in a situation that is decidedly not my lane. Uh, Hard Luck Hero uh, says, uh, just subscribe to the tier one sub. Thank you, Hard Luck he Hero. He says he subbed. He says he subbed. Sorry, he said he subbed. I don't know if it's true. But no, we got a sub, so awesome. We need these emotes oh. so we can start getting them subs. And Debauchery is saying that Ivan was in here too, who is the GM on Oh, that's game. awesome. And he's oh. he's scary. We would call him the terror monger because he is the person that scares us every single day and hour that we are. You guys are gonna you guys are gonna go back and do a thing and it's like, all right, and then you open up this door to a building and it's a studio and now you're on squad says. Yes. Good luck. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> so if, if we did a we're live themed one, like Ivan would be running around finding places to add jump scares. Like zombies, oh my God. like zombies would come out of the cabinets. That's the kind of stuff that happens on the show while we're playing. Hey, we got another sub there. We do want to thank Emmy with love. Thank, thank you. Thank so you so much. Thank you also for the raid as well there, Emmy. We very much appreciate that early on in the show. We did see that, so thank you. That's awesome. We are going to leave. Uh, I know, I know, <laughs> oh, but it's sad. No, I know, it's oh, sad. I know. Man. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, go, you can turn that sucker Hop off on if you want to. We're yeah, gonna yeah, raid, uh, Viking Blonde today. Ooh, yes. Little Will Overguard, uh, fan of, judges. friend of the show. Maggie T-Punk, Maggie T-Punk, K-Punk, with, oh uh, with the, uh, with the Twitch Prime. Speaking of Thank Viking you so much. Blonde. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Viking Blonde, we're gonna go in there and, uh, and raid that gentleman. That, yeah. That sweet, sweet gentleman. Uh, we're gonna say goodbye. Uh, uh, they said go ahead and turn the train on. Yeah. Uh, and go ahead, folks, and tell them uh, where you are. Don't forget, we are here through Saturday, every Tuesday through Saturday, uh, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's go ahead and say goodbye, everyone. Uh, <laughs> shout out to socials. We're just, we're just, we're just done. This is it. This is it. Goodbye, everybody. We'll be back next week. Bye. <laughs> Do 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 do